Hi Taurus, this is your romance reading for October 2020 and I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome back my Cyber Angels and for anybody that has landed on this channel welcome and please sub and uh, hit the bell on all and like uh, uh, I do go out live so then you'll be notified when new videos are loaded up or when I go live if you would like an extended reading, then have a look below the video in the description box. You can see the review on the Transparent Tarot and on the Tarot of the Kingdom. They're gorgeous and have a look. There's also reviews on the TLC for the Soul and I'm using also a card from the Answer of the Angels. I'm using the transparent tarot, so have a look at this week, last week, and the week before, because I, I'm, sh I sh I'm doing this all differently, uh, because you can layer the the transparent tarot. So go and have a look in the different ways that I've done it. Besides, there's also new things happening in the autumn, and that's been said this week, in and next week in the general readings. I do the romance readings once a month. So here we go, uh, my Taurus. We start off with a nice card, and that's the Ten of Pentacles. And you might be expanding the family. There might be uh, the celebrations, happy family reunions with family and friends. Um, there could even be a wedding. But the Ten of Pentacles also means expansion. There you might find out you're pregnant or you want to get pregnant, then this is the time. That's the first week. The, the first week is very fertile for e expansion in fin finances or uh, tangible things uh, like a child. Okay, you could be finding out you're pregnant as this is an ending from a phase and a new beginning. Wow. And then you have the chariots, number seven. So that's good luck. Uh, you have luck by the looks of it in the first week of October. The um, chariot means that you might be traveling. You might be going on honeymoon or a holiday or taking a break. You could also be moving home because now you have the money the Ten of Pentacles. You might have applied for a loan to buy a house, so you might be moving house this week because it's come through. Awesome! You've got victory. You've also got recognition for your endurance and your hard work. You're the champion. You're moving onwards and upwards. Look at this. Money is above you. Look at this, the money card is above your head, so it is coming in, it is here now, but I think there will be more. You m have had a heavy time, like I said, a 10 is an ending and a new beginning, and why am I saying that you've had a heavy time? Because you've got the 9 of Wands. This is confirming the 10 of Pentacles, that your difficulties are over you are going to a new beginning but you're taking a rest and that is confirming the chariot so you might take a small break before you are actually moving on you've also got the hierophant so the hierophant represents Taurus uh, besides that he also represents that he is an, uh, a, 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 a tough figure and he is a top notch because he's got the status of um, uh, a leader, an advisor, this could be f uh, somebody mature that you respect, or this could be a father figure, this could also be your real estate agent, or uh, a notary public, or an, an, uh, an, uh, an attorney to finalize the papers, so don't worry, this new beginning is here, you've got luck on your side and recognition, wow! So you might be seeking advice, okay. That could be in the second week, okay. Listen to your intuition because this is um, in the middle of 
the um, tortoise, tortoise that represents the um, hyphant. Um, just go with the flow, that's what I would say. Enjoy your break. Perhaps you need advice on uh, it, whether you can go on a break um, or whether you can uh, if you have enough money uh, because you ha might have to up do up the house or modernize the house um, whether you um, with this loan that you can use some money for a small break before you start actually modernizing or refurbishing this house um, I do believe it is a good idea to take a break S definitely to meditate and evaluate you might have spiritual guidance you might need spiritual guidance in, in, in advice as well as the higher fund is the head of an institution and or, uh, like the church but this could also be um, that you seek advice from an institution or a municipality remember when you buy a house usually you can get tax returns on your mortgage remember um, seek the advice before you take the next step be wise that is what I'm hearing be wise and don't forget your intu intuition in the third week you might really want to be alone you might want to be alone with your partner the hyphant is also somebody the head of the church that marries people so you might have had some issues you didn't have enough money but now the money is coming in and you're ready for this new beginning to get together and expand your relationship if you are not hooked up then this could be the hooking up wow um, the um, Hermit is also a spiritual guide and is also a spiritual person. He takes time out to meditate, contemplate and evaluate the situation. So that's why I'm saying you it's good to take time out because the chariot is here uh, before you start this big journey, this new beginning. You might have to seek advice because official advice um, or judicial advice uh, could be re with regards to your health whether you with this COVID whether you can travel or not because you need a retreat this could also be like I said the honeymoon because you've got a lot of travel here um, you've got the chariot uh, you've got also uh, the marriage card the, the hierophant uh, to me that's also represents marriage um, and going away on honeymoon right and the Sun the Sun is also the travel card but I think you want to retreat to um, a, a warmer place because look at the light the divine light is shining upon you and your partner the Sun also means expansion because you're in the spotlight you're being recognized for all your hard work and what your wishes are there could be a Leo that fancies you or has an eye on you this could also be a boss employer um, perhaps you might have to seek advice from him whether you're allowed to take the break okay that could be that advice as well the Sun also means uh, being a spot in the spotlight it is a spotlight but it also illuminates it could illuminate difficulties because it's lying next to the nine of wands so find out do your research okay by asking um, advice this could also mean that you find out that you're pregnant and then you need advice from a doctor you might need advice from your doctor it could be with concerning your health it could be um, it could be concerning your finances but I don't think you have to worry about your finances but take it easy because the hermit is here and the hermit does lighten his load his rucksack so that when he's on his journey then it will become much easier to do the journey 
you've life you have life experience as the hermit also represents life experience in gathering knowledge he's an old wise man like the hierophant so this could be that you uh, could also be seeking further advice or gu uh, spiritual guidance but you also need to take time out this will enhance your health and won't cause any problems perhaps that's why you need permission from your employer uh, this could also mean uh, um, promotions because the Sun also means that take that you might be going up the next level in your relationship or at work so this could um, bring difficulties um, because the nine of wands is there and you don't want to go back you want to go forward uh, with going on holiday okay so try to evaluate after you've seek the advice from somebody and uh, evaluate um, like I said you might find out you're pregnant that could cause problems as well by go traveling don't if you if it's better for your health not to don't travel yet travel at a, an other stage perhaps with each other the three of you or the four of you the whole family but you will be back in balance because 9 and 1 19 uh, is 10 um, and that is an even number so again you've got a uh, 7 here you've got a 10 here you've got an ending here you might feel out of whack in the second week because of some issues but you're back in the spotlight and in the warmth and in safety in the third week as you've got 10 which is an ending and also telling you a new beginning now this is really beautiful so if you're not hooked up you might be meeting a Leo and you might be hooking up with a Leo and you will take this friendship into the next level of a relationship if you've engaged you might be getting married definitely marriage is in the cards here you might need to take time out and think about it uh, whether you and also I see mountains here above your head you know so you might make uh, you might see problems because you've got the nine of ones here and the mountain in the Lenormand also means pr uh, problems don't make problems where there aren't any because the divine is here you've got the Sun you've got the most positive card in the tarot okay you're in the spotlight you'll be alright there's a new beginning there's also expansion so long you do the research you'll be fine you'll get to the top because you've got recognition here so if you've done it here um, in the past or in the beginning of the month you can also do it or get it in the third week remember the energy keeps on flowing so long you seek advice and do your research nothing can go wrong now you've got the eight of Pentacles that means you've got recognition and I just told you you can if you've done it in the first you can do it in the third week and the energy is throughout the whole month that you have recognition for your endurance and hard work perhaps you want to leave a legacy behind because you're finding out that you're pregnant or getting together and expanding the family beautiful so you might even start a new study or you might do an internmanship because there is a promotion so you might um, enhance your talents okay or your knowledge like the Hierophant because the Hierophant has knowledge and always gathers knowledge and it's lying on the Sun you have the ace of water you are ah oh, that's beautiful new love new passion uh, like I said a new study you might have a lot of passion for your career and you want to enhance that uh, so that you will have more money and retain that positive uh, thing the money 
promotion so that you can grow in within the company and also maintain that beautiful balance in your partnership this could be uh, you could also meet a cancer scorpio or a pisces if you're not hooked up and she is the, she is looking at the sun whoa nice one so everything is good 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 and positive so long you heed the warnings and you don't look back and you don't learn from the past that is all what i can say you've had some strife so you have carried on you've been strong you've been climbing the mountain you're in the sunshine and your partner if you have one if not you could be meeting uh, um, a cancer that's the chariot taurus the hierophant um, also uh, the sun leo or you can cancer scorpio or pisces awesome absolutely gorgeous now you have the answer from the angels is communicate clearly yes if you're seeking advice from an advisor a doctor or a lawyer then communicate clearly and carry on is your card the way the road in the path is never straight it has always ups and downs or curves okay so go with the flow go with the flow okay so the card says keep following the course you have set for yourself yes to enhance to get that legacy the sun is shining on you you are going up the next level you have recognition people can see that you are serious within work and within your relationship and if the divine wants to change your route you will of course be given notice just when you need it never in advance make a plan take a breath and remind yourself isn't it wonderful everything is out of my control there is more happening here than what I can see a cosmic plan is playing out right before my mind's eye listen as the exquisite beloved whispers your efforts will be duly rewarded that's the eight of pentacles and the ten carry on pouring love into your innovations yes do the research if you want to get married and hooked up then do the research get the advice on how to if you are shy and you don't dare to offer the hand of marriage if if that is what you wish to do then start talking and communicate and let it slip yes because you've got a beautiful reading Taurus so come out of your little shell well you're not a shell come out and show your strength okay you are beautiful and this goes for the same for cancer and all the water signs and also for Leo Leo remember purr don't roar I hope you've liked this reading take care and have a beautiful month please like and share and remember have a look at the uh, introduction of the weeklies because there's new things happening and set your settings in YouTube and in your mobile device then you'll be not notified there is a video at the end of this video in the end screen on how to do it take care